Okay, so I've got this, I've had this, uh, this new Ambernick one for a little bit now and got behind on my videos, you know, uh, Diablo 4. I'm sure there's lots of problems with the people getting behind playing Diablo 4, but uh, today we're going to open and turn on for the first time the Ambernick RG353PS. Okay, so let's uh, see what's in the box. Well, let's take a look at the box first. It's uh, just like any normal Ambernick box. It's got um, nothing around the outsides. Color on the end. I got the transparent purple. We'll set that aside. So inside the box, card, I got the 250, uh, no. I did put it in, but I haven't turned it on. I think it's 100, uh, 128 gig. So you also have your wipes, your screensavers, your manual if you're new to Ambernick devices has all the different things you're going to need which if you're new to the new to the devices will come in quite handy for what it is and then don't forget to always look in the end here because in here is where you find your charging cable okay that's what's in the box. Let's set the box aside. And look at why we're all here. I am getting used to the colored buttons. I've had it on what now two devices, the 405 and this one. And I do believe the Retro Pocket Flip has colored buttons. So it's really hefty. It looks uh, like it feels really good in the hand. So we've got stacked shoulder buttons. On the top we have the DC, the volume, HDMI, OG and the reset button, OG, o OTG plug-in and your reset button. On the bottom we have both cards. Let's see which one I got. I did open it and put it in. So like I thought, see if it'll focus. There we go, 128 gig. And of course you got your 16 gig card in the other side. And here this has your operating system on it. You will um, right off the bat want to uh, back up your, back up your uh, game card and uh, get a better card for it because they do fail. I've been lucky I have yet to have one fail. So on the bottom we got their downward firing speakers. We got our headphone jack, both our cards. On the sides, not much. On the back we've got our plastic uh, handles like they like to do. And then if it'll focus in on it, model RG353PS with the LiPo battery. Feels really good. I like how everything feels. On the front we have our select over here, start here, function, power button, sticks feel nice. I like the dock metrics with stereo sound, that looks really good. Okay, so okay, so let's turn this on and see what it does. Green buttons all green lights always good. Okay, there we go, up and running. So, what do we got on here? We've got uh, 307 vertical games, 4,550 4, games altogether. So, 11 PSP, 
68 PlayStation, 37 Neo Geo Pocket, 143 Neo Geo, Dreamcast has 78, Game Gear has 126, Mega Drive has 600, Sega Mega Drive has 633, Sega Master System 197, Ports has 3, Open Burn has 9, Nintendo DS has 28, Game Boy Advance has 394, 197 for Game Boy Color, sorry, 173 for Game Boy Color, 68 for Nintendo 16 for Nintendo 64, 1100 for uh, Super NES, uh, Game Boy 204, Nintendo 686, PC Engine 59, MSX 10, Capcom 3, 4, Capcom 2, 28, sorry, 29, can't read, Capcom 1, 64, A Wonder Swan Color, 66, Final Burn, 76, MAME, 22, so this is what's on that card, okay, so um, let's have a look at, we'll, uh, play some games and see what it plays like and we'll uh, see around what we can do in the settings. Okay, let's take a look at the settings, see what's in there. Okay, so we got file manager, whoops. Key test, system reset, backup system, restore, turn on, beekeeper, so basic stuff that's in settings. In select, we have launch Ambernic manual, and that's how we shut it down. We always shut these down by going to the shutdown and doing it properly because it's basically just a little computer, right? Okay, so here we have Cody, the game, controller, UI, everything that's normal. Scrape because this is Wi Fi, so you can scrape updates and downloads systems. What do we got in, is it UI settings is where we go for themes. In themes we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight themes. I'm just gonna leave it with the first theme. So there's themes in there. So you can, whoops. So you can set up your Wi-Fi in network settings here. Wi-Fi, put in your password, connected, it's all there. So you get over the air updates. So of course you can scrape, you can update. No updates. Okay, so that's settings. Okay, now that's uh, going to some gameplay. Okay, so gameplay, what do we want to do? Well, let's go to PSP, because it's right here. We'll do Tekken 6. Little hitch there, but came back fairly quickly.
Okay, so this seems to be a common thing is this picture seems to be messed up a bit. Let's see how it plays. Okay. Okay, the music seems to be playing really nice. Sounds pretty good, you can hear. Next to that screen, but it happens a lot, that one. It might be the ROM that they're using, but it's really playable, I like it. Nice screen is nice. Okay, so it played, uh, we played uh, PSP and uh, Dreamcast, so let's have a look at N64. What are we going to do? We've been doing fighting games, so let's stay with that theme. What do we got here? What are the chances of Killer Instinct running? Okay, so next to the sound glitches, I don't know, it, you, have, you guys have to comment. What do you think this is playing this like? For someone who's never played it before. No, where'd it go? I hate when that happens. Let's give them... Okay, you guys will have to comment and see what you think of this. It seems to be smooth. Remember, this is straight out of the box. Nothing. No tweaking, no anything. And because this is rocking the, what is it, the 3566? Six, six? Oh, I'll get that wrong, I know that right off the bat. There's lots of already operating systems for it, right? Arc, um, Jealous. So you can do lots of tweaks. Okay, you can't test a new system without playing Sonic, right? I have no doubt that it's going to play nicely, so... Okay, Sonic and Burn.
Okay, let's check out some Game Boy. Got 204 games, so let's do Mega Man 5. Okay, let's check out Game Boy Color. Do we want to stick with the theme? Is there a theme? Can we go to Mega Man? Okay, some Super NES. Stick with the theme. Maybe not. Turtles in time. Okay, Capcom, play System 3, we'll play some Street Fighter 3, Second Impact.
Okay, so I've done some gameplay on uh, on the RG three five three PS, and uh, it's very likable. It is designed to uh, play against the uh, Pow Kitty uh, Rock RK twenty twenty three. I will do a compar comparison where I actually use the same game card in both later, but right now, um, next to the fact that this has Wi-Fi and the RK2023 does not, that's not a factor in what I'm doing right now. Um, I actually prefer the Ambernick device over the Pow Kitty device. This one feels really nice in the hand, just the design, you know, it's shaped like that controller. Um, I really like the stacked shoulder buttons on here. It is, they're really nice. The screen is really nice, and I really like this Dob Matrix with stereo speakers. Um, the sticks play really nice. You can pull off your Harkokens with uh, Hardukens with uh, the D-pad really nice. The buttons really nice. Everything responds really nice. It loads the games really nice. Um, for the money that you pay, um, if you don't want anything too extreme like you saw, uh, N64, kind of hit and miss. Uh, the the Dreamcast plays really nice and the PSP plays really nice. So if you don't want to go any, I didn't try any PS1, but if I play PSP, it'll play the PS1 games that are there. So if you don't want to go any higher than that, uh, this is a really nice little device. It holds nice, the volume's nice, the speakers are nice, all the buttons are, are set really nice and it feels really good. Um, I think uh, this is the definite win for Ambernick and um, I think it's too bad for Pow Kitty that Ambernick did this because I think Pow Kitty might have had a home run with the RK2023. Uh, they have released it with a, a new model with a, a Wi-Fi, but that's not enough to make me get it, test it. Um, so as it goes between the two, I'm definitely going to say that the, the, the Ambernick um, RG353PS is the way to go between the two. Depending on what you want, of course, there are always other options. Like uh, you, you know, you've got your your uh, your Mew Mini Plus. You've got your RG three five XX. You know, you've got your three hundred five. You've got your R, you've got your RG five hundred three. There's lots of different options that you can go. But um, the RG three five three PS, I think, is a definite win, and I like. I really like this this transparent purple that it's got. I think it looks really good. I'm really impressed with the screen. Uh, now, I did have the 128 gigabyte card, so that's why I've got 4,550 4, games. Um, I haven't done any tweaking or anything in any of the video in any of these games. So um, this is a definite win for me. It's a definite buy. This is one I will be using a lot. So. Um, if you have any comments, put it in the video below. And um, thanks for stopping by, watching my videos. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.